So in this video, I wanted to do a comparison of the Lamy Safari and the Lamy All-Star pens. Uh, this has been a long time coming, but I'm finally getting it done. Better late than never, I guess. So the Lamy Safari is the company's entry-level fountain pen. It's one of the best fountain pens under $25 or under $30, whatever category you want to call it. Uh, but basically, everyone agrees it's, it's one of the best pens made under $30. It's just very popular, very well liked. The Lamy All-Star is one step up from the Safari. This is the aluminum version of the Safari. The uh, Maybe you don't like the alum aluminum, but from a price category, it's one step up from the Safari. And the two pens are, are very, very similar, which is why uh, you might be choosing between the two. Uh, on a quick note, I will say that the Lamy Safari is made of opaque plastic colors. Uh, that could be a gloss, like a shiny gloss, or this sort of uh, matte finish or matte coating, whatever. The uh, If it's in a clear plastic, then it's called the Lamy Vista. It's the same pen, but Vista is only the clear plastic version. So the crystal or translucent, whatever you want to call it, that's the Vista. If it's in a matte or gloss finish, but in an opaque color, then it's called the Safari. So the Safari, the self are maybe uh, called $25, maybe $20, maybe cheaper, depending on where you get it, but it's about a $25 fountain pen, ballpoint, all that other stuff, uh, rollerball, pencil, but we'll focus on the fountain pen for now. But think of the Lamy Safari as an entry level or beginner $25 plastic body fountain pen. The Lamy All Star, it's about a $35 or $40 aluminum body or metal body pen. Instead of having a matte or gloss finish, it has an anodized aluminum build which has a, this, uh, I would call this a satin finish, which means it's not very textured. It's like somewhere between a gloss and matte. You know, to me, it's, it's like a matte, but clearly there's some shininess to it. So depending on uh, how you want to describe it, uh, I would generally call it a satin finish and it's made out of anodized aluminum. So this isn't paint. This is a color, a coloring that is sort of embedded into the aluminum and it goes, you know, a little bit into the aluminum. Past the materials, the pens are extremely similar. You can see the parts are almost the same. We see uh, <clears throat> both have these windows here, both have these, what's called a wire clip. So the clip isn't one piece. I mean, it's one piece, but it, it is a bent piece of wire. Both have these plastic finials on the top. I know it might look like an X or a cross that has no purpose, but uh, if this is the Lamy fountain pen, it has a cross shape on the top whether it's the Safari or the LX or the Vista, whatever. If it's a rollerball, it will have a, a straight line. So you'll be able to tell your rollerball from your fountain pen if the two are next to each other because they look very similar. The back components are similar as well, but not the same. Here we see the Safari has a single piece of plastic, uh, sort of convex, or sorry, uh, concave rather. And then here you see uh, this one's flat. It looks more like a, the end of a bolt both say Jeremy on them because that's when these, these pens are made. The uh, shapes of the pen are very similar. It has a, it's basically a circle with two rounded ends that are cut out. Both pens have logos on them. I'll restore them to the original position. The logo is only on one side and the, in the plastic, it's slightly embossed in the plastic. Uh, but basically it's kind of carved out and the, uh, aluminum, it is, I would say that's more accurately described as being embossed. It's not cut out. It's basically stamped in and the letters are outlined. So similar, but not the same. Nothing on the other side. And both of these have, these are true windows. So uh, you cannot turn these pens into eyedroppers. You cannot fill this piece with ink because the ink would just spill out of these windows. The caps are the same. There's really no difference here, except again, one is metal and the other is plastic. So most people would say when they're describing the difference between the two pens, they'll say the parts are interchangeable, but that's not entirely true. Uh, some of the things you can do, for example, the Lamy All-Star or LX cap will fit onto Safari so that those parts could be considered interchangeable. It'll, it'll post as well. 
nice fit there, no problem. The Safari cap will not fit on the All-Star, just a little bit too narrow and it won't post either. You can see it just won't go. It's not, the aperture is not big enough. So the two are very similar, but they're not exactly the same. You can see the LX is just a bit, bit wider, which is why the LX cap will go over that aluminum body, no problem, but the Safari cap will not fit over it. Uh, and if you're just eyeballing it, the two will look, again, almost identical, but the LX is just a millimeter or so wider. Uh, I don't know if that's to accommodate, you know, the extra strength, add some uh, extra width, add some strength to the aluminum, making it a little bit more rigid. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the reasons, but that's definitely the case. Most of the other parts are actually truly interchangeable. The nibs, you can pull any nib off of a Safari and put it on a basically any other Lamy pen, except for the Lamy 2000. And Lamy uses a modular nib system. So you can just pull the nib off of an LX and put it on a Safari or pull it off Safari and put it on a Scala. Uh, whatever you want to do there is, uh, is ready to go. So these nibs are actually, one's black and one's uh, silver, or they're both stainless steel nibs, but they uh, will vary a little bit based on the pen you buy. The charcoal pen from Lamy in the later years, like this was a 2020 or 2019 or something, this, uh, this sells with a, a black coated nib but generally you would see this stainless steel in a, uh, in a like, I guess a chrome plated finish. The Safari uses a, an opaque section or grip section, whatever you want to call that. The LX and the All-Star use this, I would say it's smoke. So you can kind of see the feed in there and it uses this glossy plastic as opposed to this matte plastic. If you go ahead and get a Safari in a gloss finish like the true black then it will be glossy but it will also be opaque unlike this smoke finish again these are parts that are interchangeable so you can pull this off and you could kind of frankenstein your pen a little bit but you'll see that you have a uh a, a, a sorry a little gap here so the pens are not perfectly interchangeable. They're mostly interchangeable, but not perfectly interchangeable. So keep that in mind. Like here we have the uh, Safari with the All-Star back, and it looks okay. And it actually works like that. I don't know why you would wanna do this, except if you just think it's fun to Frankenstein these pens, but then you can't do the reverse, right? This, this doesn't fit. You're missing some parts here. And I mean, technically it screws down. Uh, sorry, that was the wrong one. It does technically screw down, but you have kind of a gap because uh, it's a little bit too long. So, so it looks okay, I guess, but it doesn't really actually work. And it does close, but uh, I wouldn't say this is a true, true fit or perfectly interchangeable, but it's really close. So most of the parts on the pen are really, really similar, if not exactly the same. I will say that the two pens can use the same cartridges and the same converter. So Lamy only makes one cartridge, it's this, it's called the T10. Uh, so obviously it works on both because it's the only one Lamy makes and Lamy pens only use Lamy cartridges. Both pens can work with the Lamy red topped converters or black top converters, but it's the Lamy red top ones that will make in it, uh, that are made for the Safari LX and Vista. So that'd be the, the Lamy, the Z24 and the Z28. And those two converters have little posts and those little, two little posts don't fit in this big area. They fit in this little area and you can see the notches that go right in there and the posts on the converter go into the notches. So uh, you know, maybe that stuff, those, you know, Z28, Z24, those converter uh, information, that doesn't mean anything to you. The point is they use the same refills and the same use conver same converters. All of that stuff, how you refill it, uh, where you buy the refills, what converters you use, that is exactly the same for both these pens. So they both post, they both have snap on caps, not screw on caps, and uh, they both have the windows, so you can't make them into 
uh, eyedroppers, so you can't fill this back body. They have the same exact nibs. The nibs are interchangeable. And then uh, that pretty much covers it as far as the like the exterior, like the what the pens are like on paper. When it comes to writing with them, I would say that the LX is a little bit larger. It's like a slightly inflated version of the Safari. So if you want a slightly larger pen, get the LX. The two pens are about the same in weight. I think the LX is a little bit heavier, but we're talking just a few grams, not really worth mentioning. As far as ruggedness goes, a lot of people think you should go ahead and buy a metal pen or metal anything because it's more rugged than plastic, but that's not really the case. This aluminum, it is, it's pretty lightweight. You could see from the body, it's, it's not very thick. Uh, this pen can dent if it's dropped and it will pick up scratches pretty easily. Aluminum is a pretty soft metal and uh, it's not built to be beat up. Whereas the plastic on the Safari, it's kind of like a student pen. It could hold up really well. I've never seen one of these crack unless you really, really uh, damage it. You like you really abuse it, but they don't, won't otherwise crack if you were to step on it or drop it. Uh, it's plastic, so it doesn't dent. It could get a little bit messed up, but it's a pretty hard plastic. So it tends not to scratch up too much unless you drop it off pavement or something like that. And really, from a durability standpoint, uh, the Safari is usually the, the better way to go. So I think that covers most of the two. Uh, I mean, we can get into writing with them, but there's, again, it's the same ink, the same refill, and the same nib. So there's no reason to suspect that they write any differently because they don't. Uh, you know, the pens might feel a little bit more, a little different because you like the uh, coolness of the aluminum on your hand, or you like to be able to see the feed through that smoke. Uh, but that's really just kind of on you. The pens don't feel any different when they're writing because it's the same internals. Plus this component that you're holding is the same on both pens. Both of them have two flat areas and a rounded area on the bottom that kind of form a triangle. And that, that part is the same on both. Uh, if you prefer the glossy then, or you prefer this, uh, this glossy finish that's completely flat, then you could buy an, uh, an all-star or you could buy the glossy Safari. If you prefer the textured version like this, which is actually a little bit more slippery than the gloss one, then you will have to get a Safari in this textured finish, the matte finish. But as far as how the pens feel when you're writing, uh, it's basically identical. You just get a little, like a hair extra width if you're going with the aluminum because the cap is you know a millimeter or so wider and the body is like a millimeter or so wider as well. Uh, so I think that really covers the differences between the LX, uh, sorry, the uh, All-Star and the Safari. They're really similar pens. Uh, one is aluminum, one is plastic. And then there's all those kind of subtle differences that I went through. Uh, for me, I really do tend to prefer the, all, the Safari. For me, I like the plastic over the aluminum. It holds up better and I just find it to be a more comfortable pen. Plus the Safari is a much better deal than the All-Star. You could buy these all day long for like, you know, 20-ish dollars, maybe even a little bit less depending on if there's sales. Whereas the All-Star doesn't really get as many sales. And then uh, I don't like the color range in the All-Stars as much. This is the bronze, which I think is pretty nice. But the All-Star, because it's anodized, it tends to be sold in brighter type colors. That's just how the anodization process works. It's always like a bronze or a green or a yellow or something like that. Uh, sometimes you do see blacks, but you never see those go on sale. Uh, it's more often the colors, whereas with the Safari, you can get uh, some kind of more muted tones uh, very easily and often on sale, like this charcoal, which I, which I tend to buy, but it's also nice in uh, the black and some others. So anyway, that's the Lamy All-Star versus Safari. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.